G'day Mr Fitz here, hope you're going well. In this short tutorial I'm going to show you how to create 3D projections. So in technical drawing we want to draw a three-dimensional view. We call that a three-dimensional projection. So projection is the same as a view. Now there's two types we use in technical drawing. The first one is called an oblique. This is not as common as the other one which is called an isometric. So this is the most common that we use in technical drawing. Um, and it's a little harder to draw than an oblique. Now the biggest key to drawing a three-dimensional view accurately and neatly is the word parallel. To remember what this means, any two lines that never meet. So if they were, these will never meet if you extend them these two lines will be called parallel. So keep that in mind when you're doing your drawing because a nice neat three-dimensional projection always has parallel lines. All right, let's start with oblique. For oblique views, I like to put in a little symbol to help me remember how to generate an oblique view. So I'm going to draw a square and from the diagonals of the square I'm going to draw a line. Now an oblique view has 45 degree lines that run from the view. So if I draw a basic shape, the easy part of an oblique view is I draw the first part of the view front on. So if I draw this shape, I draw as though I'm looking straight at the view. So this is a two dimensional view of that particular shape. Now, the key to doing this three-dimensional is that I use 45 degree lines. So starting from a corner, my trusty ruler here, what I can do is to make them parallel, I can line up my diagonal, bring it down to this corner, and bring this line out. So this is my first effort to make this three-dimensional. Now, like I said before, parallel, all the lines that run from here must be parallel. So I can use my ruler and go up to the next line, bring this out parallel. This corner come out parallel. This corner parallel. And this corner here parallel. So these lines must all be parallel. Now the length of these is important too we can make sure that they all go deep enough for the rest of my object. Now the rest of my lines here, so this vertical line, I can take to the end here and again make it parallel. So following the vertical line, bring it out like so. Across here, parallel. They're my two vertical lines. To complete my sketch, I'm using the horizontal here and parallel to that, with my ruler, I can drag that across like so. So this here is an oblique. Now if I continue this horizontal, this line should be 45 degrees from the horizontal axis. And my little indicator there is that with my cube there, my square, I can drag those lines and they should be parallel. That's my little reference. The easy one. Now, an isometric view is a little more challenging. And an isometric view is not 45 degrees, it's actually 30 degrees. That probably looks more like 45, 30 degrees. I'm just going to draw this by eye, but from the horizontal, 30 degrees. So, my little symbol I use for isometric to make me remember it is a crow's foot. Yes, the best AFL football team, the Adelaide Crows, crow's foot. So this is my reference like why I use in the oblique to get my lines parallel. So I'm going to start my view down here by using the crow's foot. Utilise this to start your shape. Now all I need to do for this, I'm just going to change the colour of that actually. Make it easy for you to see. 
All I have to do for an isometric is continue these lines out. So on this bottom line, if I continue this, this is going to be the bottom line like I have here on my oblique view. And then this is going to be the bottom line of my shape here. And the vertical line, I'm going to continue just a small amount for the step. So again, use that crow's foot as your starting point of your shape. Now, back to our remembering a parallel. Now that I've got this, every line from here is parallel. So this vertical line, I can bring across and draw up like so. This line is the back edge of my shape. What else do I have? I can go from this line up here, bring this back here, and this from this front corner I bring across to so. That vertical line can come back in. So you can see that that shape there follows the same here, but it's on the 30 degree angle. This front edge I can bring up parallel, like so, and then I can continue that on across here, and here, and here, to draw like so. And this is just a matter of completing the rest of the line. So don't forget every time, check with your ruler that it's parallel. Parallel up here. This line I've gone too far, but this should be a vertical line and a vertical line here to complete my shape. Like so. Isometric view, oblique view. Don't forget, this is the most common that we use. So in most technical drawings, you will have an isometric view in the top right hand side. Just recapping, the number one thing about all the lines, they are parallel. Parallel from your reference that we started with. Good work. Have some practice, you should now be able to draw oblique and isometric 3D projections. Cheers.